What is up? What is happening? All righty. So I wanted to share with you. I want to share with you kind of like behind the scenes of my business model, just so you understand it. Um, people always ask me, and so I wanted to put together a little video um, to uh, sure ensure you kind of see how I have my business model. And, and I always tell people, you know, your business model should be reflective of you, right? And so what makes sense for you doesn't make sense necessarily for somebody else. Uh, so let's just, you know, let's just get into it and, and let's just take a look at it. So, um, you know, just to start off, we have, uh, I'll call it the Scott brand, right? You know, the personal brand of Scott. Um, we've got, you know, my uh, modern business academy brand that, you know, we started uh, earlier this year. Uh, so beforehand, everything was under the Scott brand, but we've now kind of separated them, you know, apart. Uh, and then I, I would say, you know, kind of like, uh, let's see my investments sort of over here as a third. So these are businesses, things, um, you know, my investment is a little bit different than I guess a lot of people, um, you know, I'm not in the real estate and uh, not my thing. Um, I'm a majority of what I like to invest in are things I know of. So, uh, you know, software as a service, education, back to businesses, certification businesses. Um, you know, when we're talking about that stuff, um, yeah, that, that's my, it's my favorite. So, um, you know, on the Scott brand, right. To just to zoom in on that for a minute, we've got, uh, you know, my one-on-one -on -one that I do, we have my accelerator program that I do. Um, and then, you know, kind of like one-off things or, you know, uh, sometimes I do a VIP half day. Okay. So, and, and, you know, price wise for six months, 200k here, 40k right here, and I mean, obviously, this is you know, it could be anything. All right. So, no, you know, you gotta you gotta kind of like think about the fact that like everything's wrong, right? So, my 200k could be your 2k. All right. Uh, so, so that's that's there. Uh, let's just move over here. So, MBA, we have um, you know, MBA. We have a monthly version that we're rolling out. Uh, now, I will say that we've had a monthly, about almost $50,000 a month comes from an old monthly membership that I had um, that we're transferring over into this. So this is active. It's worked. We're just renaming it, adding value. And then we have an MBA lifetime version, MBA plus, uh, and then MBA uh, VIP. Okay, and right now, without going into the complicated bits, you know, here's the pricing. Okay, and right, so all of this, you know, the only thing that requires of me is the VIP, which is 30 minutes direct time of mine. All right, so obviously this, this is in the highest amount of time, <laughs> the second highest amount of time. And then MBA kind of, you know, is, uh, in many ways works by itself. And then we have my investments. And so, um, you know, there's some that's purely just cash based. Okay. Which, you know, things that I don't necessarily have advisory that I can help on. And then there is uh, cash and advisory. Uh, and then of course, just advisory. All right. So in all of these, uh, generally I'm getting uh, equity or like equity. Okay. Uh, which pays a, a dividend, um, on either a one, three or 12 month basis. Okay. So these are the, everything I invest in is, um, you know, these things can go sell. So there's kind of like two times I make money. One is on a, you know, dividend. One is when they exit. Okay, so if the company exits for a million dollars, I own 20%, I get 200 grand before tax. Okay, um, so so then I kind of look at the business like this. So this here, 100% of this, let me just zoom out. So 
100% of this. Let me just put around here. Um, is what I, is external investments. Okay, so, you know, I'm not spending this on in the business anywhere else. Okay, so essentially kind of think about it as, uh, let me see here. Um, this is kind of going up here. And you know what, I'm gonna change the way that that's done so that makes it easier later. Um, then MBA, right, if we look at MBA, this 100% of this goes into um, infrastructure, team, ads, marketing. So, so I'm, I'm always running this as if, you know, right now, because I want to build this as a larger brand, I'm, I'm sort of building this as, as, you know, I don't care about profit margin so much. So I'm, I'm basically over here, I'm saying, all right, oh, this year, I want this, I want 100%. This is like a 100% margin over here business. Um, over here, I'm, I'm cool being at a, like a 20 to 30% margin, okay? And then of course, you know, when, when I make the money here, when money kind of comes back, then I just keep recycling, right? So I just keep on putting it into investments because this is essentially increasing how much, you know, revenue I make per month without directly um, having to be involved. And so, um, you know, one benefit of kind of keeping my life, like my life, of course, is it, it, it's expensive if you compare it to most. Uh, but from in terms of net worth, I've kept my, you know, my lifestyle pretty inexpensive. You know, I don't have 20 cars. I don't have you know, all these different types of things. So, you know, I have a, a place where my monthly expenses can kind of be taken care of easily so that I can, you know, take majority of this money and kind of put it over. Now, I talk about all the time like having four core offers. And I always tell people they need an audience offer. They need a core offer, intimacy offer, and um, freedom offer. So in my business, these are my digital products, my workshops, those different types of things. My core is my MBA and MBA plus. My intimacy is my one-on-one -on -one stuff. And my freedom is my kind of MBA monthly, okay? And so between these, essentially what happens is I have the ability to make it so that I can always make, so I put all my money in. Now I'm, I'm, I'm kind of doing a little bit of a different model because I'm a little bit in a different place than most people would be. But you put all your money here into, you know, back in the audience. You, you want to keep the majority of this as, as profit. This is the money you take out of the business for lifestyle or external investments, and this pays for your expenses in the business. All right, so expenses, external, kind of like this is your take home because you know get you, you you don't you don't kind of get rich. I, mean, I won't say rich, but you, you you're going to make majority of your money by either exiting your business, doing it for five to ten years, uh, or externally investing in other things. Um, and so, you know, uh, the way I kind of look at this is, um, all right, you know, I have the capacity to do probably 10 of these a year, right? Um, because this is a six month program, I have the capacity to do about somewhere between 70 to 80. Um, and, you know, this is probably, you know, 10 throughout, you know, 10 throughout the year. And then, you know, if I want to do something different or like an adventure or something, I can do that on top of that, right? So this, this provides, you know, high level of, you know, this is 2 million, this is, you know, another two, let's call it 2.2 .2 million. And this is, you know, say maybe another million. Okay, so so I before taxes, I'm playing with about 5 million over here, you know, give or take a mill. Um, you know, over here, you know, I don't know, you know, and, 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 and you know, to be honest, it's like, this could be, it's been, you know, MBA has been alive for about 90 to 100 days as of this video. It's generated close to about a million dollars in revenue, majority of its profit, because I haven't had any really expenses. If you just take off uh, probably 20%, so it's about 70% profit margin right now. 
uh, that you know I, I haven't really invested a ton of money uh, yet and about to um, so you know this has but this has pretty unlimited potential right this could be five million a year 10 million a year and because it's away from me you know I have kind of you know all the way ability to exponentially scale and then you know over here I'll be honest because uh, almost everything I'm mean, invested in I'm like hey listen let's just put it back in I because I don't need the cash flow right this moment so this is the beauty with with having this mod this overall model in my life is uh, this keeps me kind of flush on cash right this and this is this is the advantage of having a personal brand the way that I do I'm doing books and all the different other things and everything that I've done in the past you know six seven years building a brand this here gives me a business that produces great cash flow and possibly is sellable okay now my vision for MBA now a lot of I, I told you a lot of the things I invest in are certification programs right so I'm going to do uh, in the future I'm going to do a couple of different certification programs I'm going to do more than likely a digital marketing certification and a business coaching certification now if I'm looking at this as a business this here is if I want to sell it someday this builds the highest ability to sell it certification program is the second highest ability to sell it software which I come over here and I'm invested in software that's connected to this or right? it's connected to the same industry gives me the third ability to sell okay so yes I'm, I'm investing over here but I can go and I could if I wanted to take the money from MBA um, and then come over here and say hey listen you know, Sue, I want to buy your company for $3 million in cash or whatever it might be. And then I can roll that into Modern Business Academy and then go say to somebody else, well, hey, I have, you know, 5,000 people paying, you know, $1,000 or $100 a month. I've got, you know, two more, 2,000 more customers here. I've got an email list of X and I've got a, you know, business certification and there's a thousand certified coaches. Um, and uh, hey, I want to, you know, I want to sell this business for X number of dollars, right? That's, that's my model. You know, that's my model. That is, that is, uh, that is the model overall. This is obviously more of a 2022 play, right? 2022, 2023, right? Right here, I'm wanting to add one to two businesses a month, right? Which is what I've been doing this year. Uh, and then, of course, what this allows me to do is, you know, I'm creating majority of my cash flow over here at the moment, right? Most of my cash flow is here. Most of my equity is over here, but my cash flow is right here. And so, you know, as uh, as as this creates more cash flow, I can essentially say, okay, well, let me increase my price. Let me, and then, well, this has happened because, you know, I used to take a lot more one-on-ones. Um, it used to take a lot more people in, say, an accelerator program, I mean, all these things. And so what this allows me to do is it allows me to decrease, uh, or I should say, uh, de yeah, decrease the supply over here, increase, you know, and, and, and this increases my demand, right? Because more and more people know about me, right? This allows me to decrease my supply, right? This allows me to increase how much time I spend because, like, you know, if you think about it, this over here is, you know, going to be a, is the majority percentage of my time that I spend in the business, right? To make that, you know, five or so million dollars, which is great. It's fine. But five years down the road, I, I don't want to still be doing this, right? I want this to be an opportunity I have, not an obligation. In order to do that, well, I need to be making at least five million dollars over here per year in dividends or or uh, I need to be, I need to have about 10 million in, um, you know, uh, 10 million in invested that, you know, essentially would give me at least, you know, a million a year tax-free, tax-free cash. That's the model, that's it. So the question is, well, what do you do with this? Right. Well, you start down here, right? First you get, 
you know, if you're starting off, you do that first and then you do your audience. So you can start running ads and you start having money. You do it in this order, right? And then you, you're like, okay, well, cool. I'm, I'm building this personal brand, right? And then once you get to about 5 million, right? Once you get to about 5 million a year, you're like, all right, let me separate my personal brand to a business brand, all right? So yes, it's going to decrease how much money you have. And then once you have cash flow, you know, generally what you need to be looking at is, is say, okay, well, I want uh, how much money, how much in bank. And that comes down to, you know, your uh, lifestyle. Okay, so. What you kind of want to like look for from an investment perspective, um, you know, you 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 essentially have um, the, the how much money is in the bank allows us to say, okay, well, you know, if my lifestyle is ten thousand dollars, all right, well, let me put a let me put a year's worth, let me put one hundred twenty thousand dollars. Be like, all right, you know, and you can put that into something that you know might yield a three to five percent interest, um, but. You, you, you want to be able to be like, I, you know what, I, I can live well, separate from the business. Hey, I can make, I can make money. If you, if you, if my whole business goes to shit in a year, cool, sweet, awesome, good. Uh, and then from there you want to say, okay, well, I don't need any more. Uh, you know, the, the next thing you kind of want to start saying is, all right, well, where do you want to put money first? And this is how I look at it. Number one, I always want to put money into you. Okay, so this comes in a couple of places. One is into your marketing and brand. And so that could be ads or whatever. The second is into your education, self, personal development, mentorship, right? And so, you know, what you gotta realize is that there's only so much, there's only so much benefit of building your brand. Like you can't, I can't really, there's no point for me to go out and spend $10 million on Facebook ads for my brand because, well, it, it's gonna have, there's gonna be a point of diminishing returns. And for me, there's only so many entrepreneurs that I can work with. <clears throat> so that's me. And then second, you say, okay, well, awesome. Now, well, let me go and invest in things I know. One of my, uh, very first mentors when I was 17, he was a billionaire. And he said, Scott, you know, the reason I became a billionaire is because I invested in what I knew, right? People are going to tell you to invest in a lot of things, but you got to invest in what you know. And so in my case, I know, I understand, I know SaaS, like software as a service. I, I understand brands, right? Personal brands. Uh, I understand um, certification programs, right? And I understand education. Uh, so, so I don't understand marijuana, right? People are like, well, marijuana is going to be great. Are we cool? Well, that's a speculative. I don't know anything about that. I don't know anything about real estate. I'm not saying that's not a good, you know, not a good investment, but it's something I know. So then we get into, um, all right, well, you know, in the time in which I'm investing, where, where should I put my cash? Because of course, you know, we don't want that much cash. With the cash is we, we, cash is not doing anything for us. It's literally burning itself away. So then we say, okay, well, where do I want to put my cash? Do I want to put into you know, obviously crypto is a is an option, right? Speculative option, uh, but an option. We have uh, you know commodities that we can put things in. We have stocks we can put it in. We have um, all sorts of places to be able to put cash. And so essentially, it is. All right, I'm let me put my I'm going to put my you know, million dollars in, right? And it's going to give me an interest uh, of, you know, X, right? Uh, plus uh, increase in value. And this is essentially like, you know, you put it away and you, you set it and you forget. It. And there's lots of other places to be able to utilize this. There's life insurance policies. There's all sorts of different types of things. Um, and so, so kind of like, so, so, so now we're, now we're getting to the last part, which is, um, you know, investments that you don't know, which are ones you have to learn. Right. And so, so, so you kind of gotta, you, you gotta realize that, um, 
you know, in life, sometimes you got to be an investor and sometimes you got to be an entrepreneur and sometimes you got to be an, a, a business uh, owner, right? Sometimes you got to be an advisor. Sometimes. And so you, you got to realize that like right here, generally, this is at the, you know, 1 million in profit a year, right? I, I put majority of my money into my personal brand until 2019. Because I believe in me more than I believe in something else. And then once I got once I got to a place where I was like, all right, you know what? I, I've got, you know, I got more millions in profit. Let me put it into things I know. Right, let me spread it around, put it in different things. And, you know, partially uh, some things I'm not involved in, some things I am involved in. Okay. So the more involvement, obviously the larger percentage, but the larger, more involvement, obviously the more time, right? But this allows us for controlled investment because down here we're, we're, we're an uncontrolled investment. We are an uncontrolled investment down here. And so that means basically like, we don't know when crypto is going to go. We don't know where stocks are going to go. We don't, you know, we, we can always look at the past and be like, well, it's going to do this or that, or we can speculate to the future, but you know, for the, the zero control, right? Zero control. And so what I love about two of these is that most people don't do them, right? Most people don't do them because they don't have a personal brand. Most people don't do them because they don't trust in themselves. So this requires self-trust. Now, what do most people do? They go all the way down here. <laughs> they go all the way down to investments. They don't know. What do they do? They go to a financial advisor and they say, hey, let me take a percentage of my money and let me give it to you and let me go and just forget about it and hope it works out. Now, nothing against financial advisors. I have multiple. I'm just saying that you should bet on yourself first. Right? You should bet here first before you bet anywhere else. Right? That is my model. It's my model for success. So this is June 19th, a few days after my 30th birthday of 2021. We'll see how this ages. But for now, that, uh, that's what I've got.